This warm winter so far has meant near record low ice levels on the Great Lakes. In fact, there's next to no ice on Lake Michigan and not much more on Lake Superior. So why should we care? Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker spoke with an ice expert and with the Great Lakes shipping industry. Scientists who track these kind of things say the Great Lakes ice season is 46 days shorter than it was 50 years ago. Right now, there's barely enough ice on Lake Michigan for a mixed drink. That's actually bad news for the shoreline. Lots of ice keeps waves from making landfall. When you have less ice on the lakes and certainly less like ice near the shore, you rapidly increase your, your probability of significant erosion during the winter. Destruction of, of coastal infrastructure, piers, jetties, roadways. And less ice, he says, could mean more cloudy days and lake effect snow. Ice on the lakes shuts that snow, that lake effect snow machine down. If we keep the lakes open, we can see these large lake effect events much deeper into the season. Right now, less than one half percent of the Great Lakes are covered with ice, most of it along the northern shore of Lake Superior. It's near record low. Over the last 50 years, he says, ice coverage has dropped an average 5% a decade. Meaning that we're seeing, on average, about 50% less ice now than we were in the early 70s. We're still going to see high ice years, and we're still going to see low ice years, but the average over lo the long period of time is decisively down. It's a downward trend, and that trend is expected to continue. He and other experts blame climate change. What we're seeing is that the Arctic outbreaks that, were, that, that occur now are of shorter duration than they were in the past. So we get the cold outbreaks, but it's lasts for a day, two days, three days, when the lakes need a very, they need that cold air to get entrenched and sit for a long time. Even with less ice, the shipping industry continues to push for a second U.S. Coast Guard heavy icebreaker on the Great Lakes. Price tag, $350 million. Back in 2014, we had some record-setting ice conditions. Literally, all of Lake Superior was frozen solid. So it's uh, it just depends on those polar vortexes. The Great Lakes big freighter season ends January 15th every year, ice or not, when the Sioux Locks shuts down for maintenance. It starts up again in late March. Eric Peace is vice president of Lake Carriers Association, which represents U.S. flag freighters on the Great Lakes. He is also a former commander of a Coast Guard icebreaker. He recalls taking 11 days in 2014 to help iron ore freighters cross through the thick ice on Lake Superior. It's usually a 24-hour trip. We were breaking ice from beginning of December all the way until May. You have to be able to get those raw materials down to the steel mills in the southern lake in the southern lakes where all those people are employed this another heavy icebreaker is really a necessity it, it's vital even if congress approves funding for the no icebreaker it could take up to 10 years to build it in grand haven ken kolker news 8.